started performance and arts was uh, was 1996, straight out of school. I finished school in 95. I did an AFL traineeship at North Melbourne. I was there for around about six six years, I think it was. Then I went to Carlton Football Club and was there for another three or four years. And then to we moved on to the AIS in the performance analysis area. Mm. Worked with about 35 sports there. And uh, then obviously tennis in August 2008, I started with tennis. Uh, a lot of when I first started, a lot of people hadn't even seen themselves on video before, so it was, I suppose, a bit of shock for them to see. You know, some of them thought they had their elbow in a certain position, but when they looked at the video, it was in totally a different position. So I think it's probably shock at first that you know this is the way they actually look on video because they think they look completely different. They can see one error straight after the other, so they can start to see a trend. Whereas if you watch a, a three-hour match, you may lose. You know what happened in the first set but uh, you can quickly watch you know 45 errors if you've made 45 errors one after the other in 10 minutes and really see a pattern yeah we started uh, i started with none <laughs> to, to start off with and had a few people bring the old uh, dv tape cameras to me and started off recording i think we ended up with two of those my first pro tour i had two cameras with tape so it was a matter of trying to capture straight into the computer, which didn't always work, and if that didn't work, then going back, and it was a long process. Uh, so now having around about 23 cameras, all hard drive cameras, just copying them across, transcoding them into a format that everyone's happy with, and then trying to get them coded as well. So yeah, I mean, in the last three years, it's definitely come a long way, and it's also for the coaches, it's been a bit of a culture change. They haven't had this information available to them before, as, as readily accessible as it is now, and uh, yeah, so it's come a long way from that, from yeah, August 2008, so three years, yeah, it's definitely come a long way. Uh, it's around about, the, if it's a two hour match, it would take most, of, probably two hours, it depends on uh, rally length and so forth, but yeah, it's because you can fast draw between each point, it's around about, a two hour match would take you around about two hours, maybe a little bit less. Obviously, you don't go out there and play, but you feel part of it, definitely. You feel like you've helped them expose what they needed to expose. They've obviously played the game plan to what you've talked about or their coach has talked about, and yeah, you feel, it feels as if you've helped. Obviously, you haven't gone out there and won it, but you've definitely helped in, along the way. It's been, yeah, you get a little, you get satisfaction for sure. So there's probably about five or six of us as a group, and we sort of did everything you know, we went to the course together, Sam warmed up, we all hung around and so forth. So it was a good little group of people that were working together. So my job was to use past matches uh, to try and expose their weaknesses to Sam. And my job mainly was to give the information to Dave and then Dave would devour the information and then give the information needed to Sam. Uh, it started off with statistics and then slowly we introduced vision. So so you could really see the weaknesses and I suppose in the final we we exposed a lot of things I'm sorry not a lot of things but enough things that that Sam could use her strengths to beat Serena's weaknesses and uh, I mean you just have to watch the match and I'm not going to give away what we were talking about but she played it to an absolute tee and obviously you know won the match and for us everyone who was working with her it was each a little part I think it's proven with Sam that you know only a little bit of data on each player can definitely help if you can really play the game plan to what you see in the data and the vision I think it definitely can